Hi everyone, it's the boy Sean. Welcome back to another account review. Today we will be reviewing account for Aaron. He is still an early stage gamer, trying to build a Giants B10 team and making a faster Giants B10 team. So those two will be our goals for today. So he is running a basic Veromos, Chasun, Bella, Bernard, Sigmaros, Giants 10 team. Average time is around 3 to 4 minutes. After messing around with different team combinations, I came up with this team consists of 3 damage dealer. Pong will be responsible for the 2 crystal on the side that can destroy the entire team. She will always aim for those crystal even if the armor break lands on the golem. Fiomas and Sigmaros will be the main damage dealer. These are the stats. Decent for an early stage gamer and Sigmaros. One of the biggest problem with this team is that Bella has too low accuracy. The run can be as fast as 2.30 but can be as long as more than 3 minutes due to the fact that Bella cannot armor break the mini boss in the middle. I would love to see Bella having more than 60% accuracy so that Bella can land the armor break consistently on that mini boss so that can so that the run can be faster. The same thing for Bernard. He has too low accuracy. The speed is really nice, but he's not having any form of speed clear arena offense. So I strongly encourage Aaron to improve his accuracy on Bernard. Like 45 should be the benchmark so that he can help Bella land the armor break on the mini boss. And it is crucial for Bernard to land the attack debuff on the main boss. So let's go and do a sample run and see how well this team can function. So this is the stage that decides whether your run is fast or not. Hopefully Bella can defense break the, the mini boss over there so that both Sigmaras and Theomas can focus on him and deal a lot of damage. As you can see, Huang will instantly aim for the crystal and there's no way this team can die with just the golem attacking them. As mentioned, with attack debuff, there's no way the boss can kill the entire team. Even if we have armor break just now on everyone. Huan may die, but it is very natural for Huan to die in Giants B10. So we got 2.30, which is great. He's running 3 to 4 minutes on average. So 2.30 is a huge improvement for him. Now let's move on to Dragon's B10. He hasn't been able to fix a stable Dragon's B10 team yet even with the help of Verda Hound. So his Vert is run decently on Violent with Speed, Crit Rate and HP. So there's nothing wrong with this Vert, good HP and good Speed. Once again, the problem is with Bella. Bella has too low accuracy. When the boss HP falls below 30%, if you don't kill him fast, he can easily wipe the whole team. So please, please, improve accuracy on Bella. I believe you can do it. I look through the runes and you can swap some rune here and there but you don't have the mana for me to do it so you have to do it on free rune removal or farm more mana and do it. Veromos is fine as well. Nothing too wrong. Maybe a little bit swishy but I think it's still okay. Spectra is a good candidate for him in Giants B10. His Spectra is rune pretty decently good survivability stats and high accuracy that's all i ask for 
Like you don't need to go crit rate or crit damage for Spectra. You just need him to be fast, tanky, high accuracy. Because his second skill can easily deal 10,000 damage without critting. And that's a lot of damage. There's no runes, <laughs> but Megan doesn't have uh, enough runes on her. And he doesn't have any rune left for me to rune Megan up. So that's why I'm settling with Brandia. So his Brandia is ruined really well. I think Brandia is his proud possession. Max skill, well ruined. Her first skill weakened the enemy's defense, which is really great. It increased the damage output for the team in general. Her second skill created a shield and weakened the attack power of the enemy team. This skill can really help the team's survivability in the Zyros stage and in the boss stage. Her last skill deal a lot of damage, like a lot of damage. It can instantly deal uh, 30,000 on Zyros with just a few debuff without attack buff, so it's really awesome. And it can deal a lot of damage to the main boss as well. So let's go for a sample run and see if we can point out any more improvement that you can make. So the shield really helped to increase the survivability of the entire team in this stage. Oh my god, a lot of damage. Attack debuff on Zyros is really important. So as long as you can land a slow or you can put up the shield, your team should be fine in this stage. That's when you will want Bella to have higher accuracy. It is very crucial for Bella to strip that immunity for the entire team to kill the boss faster. You don't want to stay here too long for Anjin to screw you over. If you can rune up Megan, try to use Megan instead of Brandia so you have two buff strip attack buff for Vert, Veromors to deal more damage. Oh, hi. <laughs> One more thing is that, oh my god, a lot of damage. One more thing is that you can make Vert slower than Bella and Veromors to make full use of the attack bar boost, but you don't have a lot of rooms to play around, so it's a later stage thing. Nice, we got a pretty decent run. So improve Bella accuracy, try Megan's out, and you, you can have a stable giant between team with either Megan or Brandia. I really I'm really liking Brandia though. <laughs> It's pretty fun to play with her. Even though I told you in the email that you should not focus on PvP, but this is the core team that you can make to like put on your arena defense and use for arena offense. It has like everything a beginner need for PvP. CC, damage, cleansing, revive, heal, all that good stuff in one team. And these guys are very useful in many parts of the game. Brian is super good for TUA. With crazy violent prop, this team can like lose her through so many different kind of arena defense. That's it for the account review for Aaron. Keep on grinding. I believe you can make a faster giant speed 10 team with no problem, as well as a stable dragon speed 10 team. Leave a like you enjoy, leave a comment to help Aaron out. I know you guys always have better suggestions than me. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. 
Bye. Hi everyone, it's the boy Sean. Welcome back to another Summoner Swan video. Today, we will be doing an account review for Crash. Some background about Crash, he is a C2 player with down refill, with down rush. 